All right, so the first exercise is gonna be a Romanian deadlift. I like starting most of my lifts with some variation of a deadlift because they are all encompassing movements that activate a lot of your musculature. But it is particularly good for your hamstrings as well as your back. And since this is a chest and back specific workout, it's a fantastic inclusion. After your warm-up set, start with your heaviest weight and reduce the weight accordingly for the following sets. This is called a reverse pyramid approach. Train until failure and rest one to two minutes between the sets. Next, we have a flat dumbbell bench press, which will then be supersetted with some sort of close grip row. Since we are alternating between a chest and a back movement here, try to reduce your rest time between the movements. Onto an inclined dumbbell bench. You'll likely have to reduce the weight for this movement as the majority of the load is now going to be placed on your upper chest. It can be tricky to position the weights for this exercise, but similarly to the flat dumbbell bench press, you want to rest the weight on your knees and then kick the weight up using your momentum. Follow that with straight arm pulls, which essentially dominates your entire back musculature. Okay, moving on to the burnout circuit. This one emphasizes the secondary muscles for the chest and back, such as your shoulders, your biceps, and your triceps. The first circuit will combine a chin-up hold with an inclined dumbbell curl. Perform both exercises until failure without any rest between the exercises. Next, we're gonna be doing a plank with your hands closer together to better emphasize the load on the triceps. And you're gonna follow that with some tricep pushdowns. Lastly, we're going to be doing some handstand holds into reverse lateral raises. If you cannot hold a handstand, modify it by holding a pike instead. And that's the workout. Be sure to cool down once you're all done. Like and subscribe for more. Hopefully I'll see you next time.